And that's it, um, the stories we have. But look, let me just bring you one more. The Journal of the Ameri American Medical Association reports in February it puts the percentage of COVID-19 patients who had fever at 98 gun thermometers, therefore come in handy for measuring temperature. But they are largely imported, expensive, and could scan only a person at a time. Now, thankfully, a local smart thermometer equipped with an app developed by a Ghanaian engineer, I tell you, uh, could address all these concerns. Now, on Tech Thursday, Lava Firms, Chrissy Debra is speaking with innovator Eric Obing. I'm Eric Obing, aka Professor. I'm the founder of Electronics, a company that deals in designing smart systems, software systems, IoT, and many more. In my hands, I have a device that I've designed to help combat uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, I call it CovScan 19. You can also call it DOCAS, meaning doctor's assistant. So when uh, during the the lockdown when the soldiers were put out there i was wondering how do they even detect the people that they were interacting with how did, are they able to know that uh, this person has the infection because there were a lot of uh, videos where the soldiers have to be holding people lashing people and all that so i thought of it that what if i can give them something they can use to detect at least give them some amount of you know, knowledge on who has the disease or who doesn't have most of the temperature infrared based temperature sensors they are just one spot they pick one a uh, one point temperature and that's it okay so in case the region is being affected by a lot of noise okay a lot of background noise then it's very difficult knowing or estimating the actual temperature but this system doesn't pick just one temperature spot it picks 64 at a point and times 10 of that within one second so if there is any perturbation or fluctuation in temperature it is easy to detect that so uh, the system works on a Bluetooth. It communicates via Bluetooth with the app, okay? So I'm going to turn, I'll push this button to turn on the system. So now if I accept to scan the environment, it says scan environment completed. Now it is transmitting it to the app. Okay, so once it is done, you can see that the app is now demonstrating or showing the heat uh, sources, okay? Now, these heat sources, there is a legend down here. For instance, this color represents a, a new temperature. So it represents, for instance, this color represents 29.25 degrees Celsius. This is about 30. So each cell would give you the temperature that it corresponds to. Okay, so with all this functionality, it, it still doesn't cost that much. I spent not more than 300 cities making this prototype. But then, if I am to create this for commercial purpose, I can shrink it and do everything on one board. So maybe it may increase just a bit, but then, in general, this device doesn't cost much to reproduce. Another thing is that this system can scan more than one person at a time. Okay, so if I fix it in a room, for instance, then whoever falls within the range can be measured. The temperature of the person can be measured. And it's irrespective of the fact that the person is moving or not, the temperature can be measured. So just imagine our airports, okay? We mount this on a, on a robotic arm that can move in all the three dimensions. Then this system can be working like a heat-seeking missile, scanning on its own, okay? And the moment it detects any abnormal temperature or temperature anomalies, it can now signal whoever is in charge that there is something and whoever, it will, it will actually focus or zero in on that person and be uh, following that person who has that abnormal temperature. So it will be easy for the authorities to detect uh, whoever is having that abnormal temperature, okay? And it can also be used. You see, um, 
One of the things that most medical situations have is temperature changes. Ebola had the same thing, SARS. So even after COVID, this system will still be useful to the medical professionals because they can use it for temperature-related uh, works in their clinics or hospitals. You can use it to monitor particular temp uh, patients and then set some alarm system. So maybe if uh, the temperature of the patient hits 38 degrees Celsius, the, the doctor should be alerted. All these things can be done with the system. And another interesting thing is this device is programmable and at every point in time, the firmware can be changed to do anything that you want. So far as it is within the specifications of the hardware. And best of it all is that it was designed in Ghana. Yeah, we have great innovators right here in our country. And talking about innovation, uh, we will explore more of them right here on the show. But look, today we have a conversation with Fancy Gadam. He's a king of the north, as uh, we uh, have decided to designate him. But um, we want to ask him how he's using his talent, his work, to be able to reach out to his, his community, his fan base, and the wider country within this period. All sorts of education and content and, and uh, artistic innovation has, seen, has he been able to bring to bear on the industry. But before then, I would have brought you this conversation with uh, Alisa Catris uh, we're having on the show. We're streaming her into the studio and uh, we've decided to attach the hashtag to the conversation at the psychiatric and it's very simple. We're in a very stressful period and many of us don't have a mental health state, right? But because we're in that cocoon environment, we're not able to have anybody to talk to. And so we have the professional who right here is open for you to ask any question at all. And uh, we're going to have that great conversation. I know you're going to enjoy it, but in the meantime, we have to take a break. When we do come back, we're doing the newspapers, myself and Mamavi. She, though, I've seen her. She's looking splendid this morning. Do join us.